Welcome or welcome back. For you who are here for the first time, I am Nick. I am a union rep. I've been so for over 30 years. Regional and a national negotiator. And I did a few years in the European Parliament as a documents analyst. We are today continuing our saga, if you will, about uh, Amber Heard's former UK lawyer. Jill Robinson and uh, this time it is about a book that was released a while ago a book that she, where she claimed she wanted to tell uh, survivor stories and uh, yeah it has some issues Let's go into it. First, you see here in the disclaimers. It is necessary for us to make a disclaimer, in fact, a few of them. This book should not be taken as asserting the truth or as claiming to know the truth about the allegations of gender-based violence contained within its pages. Every man named in this book vehemently denies all allegations, allegations that often relate to matters that is typically happen in private, behind closed doors. So that is issue number one. Even if it's important to allow abuse victims to speak out, you do. And remember, Jill Robinson is a lawyer. She should know this that unsubstantiated allegations or allegations whatsoever if they are not proven in a court of law they can be uh, regarded as defamatory so that is why it's really really important when you write survivor stories that you have cleared it legally which Jill Robinson should know and uh, well let's see how the book looks inside let's continue that's a whole chapter redacted More redactions, not so much redactions, and here we go again, more redactions. And this continues throughout the book, because uh, when I did some research, it's the redactions here are mostly Australian cases and this is because this book was released in Australia and as it turns out when these allegations was brought to court not many of them seem to have been substantiated so this book is still heavily redacted now I don't claim that the women they, they st I don't claim their uh, stories are false. I don't. What I'm doing here is telling you that when Jill Robinson puts out a book with stories that had, hasn't gone through the legal system, she might even have made more harm than good with it. Because even if these were redacted in the Australian book release, it was released in more countries where this wasn't redacted. So we can only speculate if that had anything to do with the court cases. But the issue here is that Jill Robinson is a lawyer. She should know better than to interfere in legal cases. She should have known better. 
And uh, if you watch an earlier video where we picked apart an article by Mr. Robinson in uh, the Daily Mail, you probably already know what my uh, opinions are about Miss Robinson, that she cherry picks, misstates, and uh, misappropriate the law. And that is more or less my opinions about how she made this book. So you might complain about law tubers grifting, but if we are grifting, What's Jill Robinson doing? She's the one who is actually making money from telling abuse victims stories, alleged abuse victim stories. And in that, she might have hurt their cases. Well, that's what I had for you today. You all have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.